The man, the president of these United States has been elected and his name is Joseph R. Biden and his vice president is Kamala Harris. Now watch this, watch this. I'm not going to be before you long. See, the devil thought he had you trumped. Oh, come on. He's been bullying you for four years. He's been talking trash about you. He's been saying that he's going to win in your life. Oh, come on. He He's been bothering you. He's been disrespecting you. And you've been biding your time. Now, oh, yeah, she. I hear you, Holy Ghost. Now, watch this. Uh -huh. God, see, God says, uh-huh, the battle is already won for it's the Lord. Now, see that enemy. Oh, come on in here. He called it for himself early. But when I tell you God controls the end because the ballots had already been cast in your life. Oh, come on in here. See, some of y'all are sad because it looks like you're not going to win because the ballots have been cast, but they've not been counted. Oh, come on in here. But turn to your neighbor and say, weeping may endure for a moment, but joy comes in the morning light. You were down on Tuesday. You were down on Wednesday. But on Thursday, things started to turn around in the atmosphere. And even the places you didn't expect to win in your life, the Pennsylvania, the Georgia, you're starting to win there too. You didn't expect what God can do for you. The Bible says, now unto him who is able to do exceeding, abundant, above all you could ask or think. You didn't think about Pennsylvania. You didn't think about Georgia. But you got it anyway. See, your mind was waiting on the divine. And the Arizona is the 6 and the 11, and God is going to deliver 20 for you. Tell me that devil, Biden. You in the White House? Biden. You talking about being in my life? Biden. Tell that path, Biden. When it's all said and done, they can call their lawyers. They can recount what they recount. But what God is doing in your life is already done. Hey.